we've got the town hall with Pete Buttigieg. Um, Put edge edge. Don't you think it's just great to see the fact that you've got a guy there um, on the stage with his husband, and it's normal. It's not even. I think it's a absolutely fine. I do. As your president, I will do everything in my power to protect our LGBTQ citizens from the violence and oppression of a hateful foreign ideology. And we begin with President Trump's sudden and sweeping ban using Twitter to reveal it, tweeting he will ban transgender people from serving in the military in any capacity. The Department of Justice sent a memo to the Supreme Court, Title VII, which is a civil rights law protecting against discrimination on the basis of sex does not extend to transgender workers. Another ruling could override anti-discrimination protection for LGBT people by allowing religious employers to hire only persons whose beliefs and conducts are consistent with those of the company. New Trump administration rule would roll back sex discrimination protection for transgender people in health services. My next guests have been forced to undergo DNA testing to establish a biological connection with their own children under a new State Department policy, a requirement not asked of married heterosexual couples. The new judges are highly credentialed conservative powerhouses, what you'd expect from a traditional Republican president. Democrats say it's not qualifications, but their philosophy that could lead to a rollback of civil rights. The New York Times reporting the Trump administration wants to legally define transgender out of existence by officially recognizing only a person's gender at birth. This is just the latest attack on several Obama policies that expanded protections against sex discrimination to cover gender identity in areas like housing, education, and the military. 